our purpose as the UW Comedy Club is to help students practice, learn, perform stand-up comedy in all forms of live comedy for audiences like you. That's what we want to hear. Okay. Huh. Perspective. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Perspective, man. The knowledge, right? Yeah, the knowledge is, and what you observe and the knowledge behind it paints your perspective, right? That's why I like school. That's why, you know, I want, I want to get the better picture of things. And that's why I do drugs. <laughs> same, s same thing, same, same rationale for both those things. Let me ask a different question. Who here has ever had that one container of expired food in their fridge that scared you? <laughs> yeah, I think we all know the one. It's been in there for way too long, but you don't really know what to do with it anymore. Ooh, it's past its expiration. That's fine. I can throw it out tomorrow. It's starting to smell. That's okay. A few more weeks can't possibly hurt. It's turning green. I'm sure my grandkids can take care of it. So you just leave it in there longer and longer, and at some point, there's a turning point where it stops being laziness, and it starts being fear. <laughs> I don't want to open it because I don't know what sort of fresh hell I'll be unleashing on the world. Who knows what generations of natural selection have done in there? Could have bred the perfect killing machine inside that lasagna. <laughs> I open it up with size. <laughs> I don't want that. All right, I'm drunk and I'm not politically correct, so buckle up. Um, all right, my name is Jacob Braun. I'm a senior here at the University of Washington. I went here because my girlfriend and Chris Peterson, the football coach, were both going to come here. Uh, I mainly went here, though, because of Chris Peterson. Uh, so uh, I really like going to UW, though. It's a really fun school. Not a lot changes about it, which is good. I have really bad anxiety issues. Uh, so. UW doesn't change a lot, so that's good for me. Uh, the one thing they do like to change, though, is the exponential growth of tuition, uh, so that's a bitch. Uh, I'm literally going to have to rob a bank to pay for school. Uh, you know, my biggest problem with uh, UW, though, has got to be the police. And, you know, it's not because I get in trouble with the law or anything like that, uh, mainly because I just don't get caught. Uh, but uh, my problem with UW is the fact that they just don't catch their suspects. Uh, like, we get these emails all the time, something along the lines of this. Uh, suspect, white male robbed a bank. He spray painted his social security number on the wall and left a deposit of his semen on the counter. We cannot find him. Please let us know if you have any more information regarding this incident. I get shit like that all the fucking time. So, <laughs> I'm serious. It's not a joke. It's like three times a quarter at least. Thank you. Wow. Love that. So, yes, as Yoram so cleverly pointed out after the travel joke, my name is Maddie Bennett. I have been doing stand-up comedy for a little while. It helps me cope with my anxiety. I don't know what my anxiety is going to do to cope with its anxiety. Um, <laughs> maybe adult coloring. That's really in right now. Uh, I'm scared of a lot of things. Uh, failure, death, uh, phone calls, overdue library books, and that situation where you can't memorize someone's name in time for the cutoff point where it's way too late to ask their name again. <sighs> it's a lot, but I'm not scared of ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts because... Well, there's multiple reasons. But if ghosts were real, we would see more boring ghosts. Like whenever you hear about a ghost, it's always, oh, I'm Lady Wimble Smith, and I was killed with a silver ax on a cold cliff in 1727. It's never, I'm Glenn <laughs> from accounting. <laughs> I think I ate some bad sushi. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting for the autopsy to come in. I died in 1979, so I guess no one cares. There, there, are, there are never ghosts like that. Um, I have a boyfriend who I love and adore. He is neither ghost nor robot. He is a real living person who lives in Wisconsin. <laughs> That's not code for something. Uh, uh, me and a couple of my friends from high school, we made this Google Doc a couple years ago. And it just, I don't remember how it started, but it was basically like, guys just do these, like, they have these weird quirks or, like, there's just these dumb, like, stereotypical things that they do. So we're like, why don't we just, like, document them? And so I hope that my ladies out tonight will, like, relate to them. Yes. Or, like, guys will be able to, like, laugh at yourself, please. Like, come on. Just come on. Okay, so it's 170 <laughs> things long, so I'm just going to read a few. But um, 
I hope that you'll enjoy the highlights. Um, okay, flexing their Subarus, <laughs> using three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, um, commitment issues, all have Androids, um, they like g Easy. don't know where the clit is, <laughs> sending you random dick pics, um, baseball hat with hood over the hat, that's just stupid, man caves, I, like, stop. Um, earbuds threaded inside of their shirt and then wrapped around the neck, just like a little accessory, like, fashion piece. Um, never having fingernails? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a guy with long fingernails. That's, okay. Uh, no sleepovers with just two guys. That's not, like, not gonna happen. Black ice air fresheners. Um, sneaker culture. Not smiling in photos pull-up bars over their bedroom door. <laughs> they love Blu-ray. I guess I'll just riff a little bit. Um, I love your pants. Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you get them, uh, Goodwill? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't, don't, don't kill me. Um, I mean, if you have if you have a problem, just just meet me outside. You can punch me punch me in the balls or something. I don't know. Um, 